Welcome back to the Own Your Power Lifestyle Show's Real Estate Edition with Brenda Cano. I'm Coach Simone Kelly, Business and Life Coach, and Brenda Cano is a real estate and lending expert. And today's topic is pool homes. Are they worth it? We're going to talk about the pros and cons. Welcome back, Brenda. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being back. Um, and we um, we have a lot of listeners who are interested in this topic because, you know, as you know, I have a lot of listeners on the East Coast and South Florida. You have your your West Coast people in California. Um, so we're curious to know, you know, what is, I guess, is it better to buy a home with a pool or is it better to buy a home and add the pool? Give me some of the well, breakdowns. So it's it's totally up to you. It's personal preference. So um, in SoCal, we just love pools. The only issue is that only maybe 5% of the homes available have pools. So that limits um, how many homes you can actually see if you're, you know, you're interested in buying a pool home. Now there's pros and cons. The pearl of getting a home with a pool already is that you're gonna end up spending less on your pool. So for example, if, a, if two homes that are exactly the same go on the market and one has a pool and the other one does not, that's gonna create maybe a $20,000 price difference. Wow. But yeah, but if you buy the home and then add the pool, right now the cost for an average pool is about $50,000. Mm. So if you have to have to have a pool, it's better for you financially to just buy a home that already has one. Has one, right. Okay. Yeah, that's now, a lot. The downside to that is um, the pool might be an older pool. So you might have to do some resurfacing. You know, you might have some costs there. But uh, one of the pros of building your own pool, even though that's a more expensive option, is you can actually get something updated, something more modern, and you can actually pick your pool placement. Because once you get a home with a pool, you can't really move it. Um, the right. only thing you would have to do is you would have to actually either cancel it out by sanding it in or literally breaking the whole thing apart to be able to build a new one. Oh, so it's, wow. yeah, it's not very cost effective. Go back to the having an old pool. What, what kind of maintenance would they have to do? You said, you said sanding it. What did you say? So um, a lot of times with like older pools, what happens is that the tile around starts chipping off okay. or are getting damaged um, to the interior of the pool. Or it could even be a vinyl lined pool. That's another thing. So a vinyl lined pool is totally different than a regular pool. And they have a very thin on vinyl lining, which has to be replaced every five years. Oh, wow. So you, yeah, that's another thing to look at. So vinyl lined pools are, are less expensive to install, but also when it comes to resale, they're less desirable. Yeah, so, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound very desirable. <laughs> Yeah, like it can rip or something. I don't know. It sounds strange. Yeah, um, and not just that. The structure of a vinyl line pool is totally different than the regular pool. So regular pools usually round. A okay. vinyl pool is more of a V shape. So really? it's yeah, it's not very comfortable to like be in. But <laughs> it, yeah, but it's a lot less expensive to install. So that's why a lot of homeowners decide to go that way. But when it comes to resell, um, you don't exactly get what you pay for there. Gotcha. And then um, as far as having maintenance of a pool, you said, can people take care of it themselves? Or to, you know, I know that might be expensive to hire a pool, pool guy. So pool guy in SoCal right now, they're going for about $100 a month. They come in twice a, um, twice a month. They clean out your pool. They make sure that the pH balance is right. They mix the chemicals for you and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's not really very expensive when you consider the cost of everything else. Like landscaping is about the same. Right. Okay. So that in itself is not very expensive. Do you know people that do it yourself? It looks yeah. like you have to be a chemist or something. <laughs> I don't know much about pools. So I don't know. <laughs> it's not that hard. Um, my dad actually maintains his own pool just because he's retired and it gives him something to do. Mm -hmm. So he's in a and he maintains it. So it, it's not that hard. Now, what about um, having a jacuzzi? Is that considered like in the pool family or that's a little different? Yeah. So that's a spa. So usually um, when you have an in-ground pool, most people like to add a spa just because at that point, the cost of adding, adding a spa or a jacuzzi would be very low compared to just building out a whole nother one. Mm -hmm. um, usually when people only have a spa or a jacuzzi, um, they have an above ground. Right. Which um, they can take with them when they move. They don't have to include it as part of the cell or they can leave it in the property. But um, a jacuzzi doesn't really add value to the property. Oh, really? Okay. It's not, a, it. it's not the best investment. If you're going to invest money to add value to your home, I would suggest spending it on the interior or the exterior of the house. Okay. Anything else that we need to consider regarding buying a pool versus adding it to the house? Anything else? 
um, yes, your location. Because okay. although you really, really want a pool, um, depending where you live, where your home is located, you might not be able to use it year round. So you have to keep mm. in mind to maintain it, even if you're not using it. And you still have to, every few years, you have to go through the maintenance process of like fixing any chips or any like damages to the pool or your motor burns out, things like that. Mm-hmm. And you might only be using it for a portion of the year. So, and also in colder climates, most people don't want a pool. So on resale, it would actually hurt, not help you. Right, right. That's true. And I, I, I also am concerned about people that have children. There's so many disasters that happen. What, what are some things they have to keep in mind or consider if they have small children? Um, um, at least put an alarm at the door. Um, they sell these alarms where whenever the door that it gives you access to the yard or the pool, um, mm-hmm. whenever it's open, it sounds it makes a sound which will alert the family. Or another thing is um, the newer homes or the newer pools, um, they usually have new requirements. So for example, in SoCo, big one is most cities, in, um, they actually make you put a fence or a barrier okay. between the house and the pool to avoid any accidental drownings. However, if the pool was originally built, let's say in the 70s, that might not actually be a requirement. Okay. So you might have a home without that and you need to install it yourself, even though it's like considered up to code. Gotcha. Yeah, you got to be careful because these little babies, you got to take care of your babies. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think that about wraps it up. Um, we'll be back next week with a, a topic I'm really excited to get into because it's something I want to do eventually. We're going to talk about um, things to know before you invest in an Airbnb. So um, keep it locked on Own Your Power Radio and, and also Own Your Power TV and Brenda Cano TV. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Brenda. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.